Hi, I'm Alan Bresnik from Light Reading. We're here in New Orleans at the SCT Cable Tech Expo. I'm speaking to Pete Code from Incognito Software. Hi, Pete. Hi, Alan. How are you doing? All right. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. So we just came out with the our SCT Fiber Survey uh, Outlook report, which Incognito was a sponsor of. Uh, wondering what you thought of the report and how it jives with what you're hearing from your customers. Uh, we've been working with cable operators uh, over the last number of years on their operational transformation to uh, fiber and this survey uh, highlights a lot of interesting uh, tidbits of information around that uh, operational challenge and the need for automation as well as the impact of 5G to their business. What does the survey reveal about operators' priorities? So over the next 12 to 18 months, a lot of operators are going to be focusing in on automation within uh, deploying new services, really to capitalize on their existing uh, plant capabilities with uh, fiber backhaul. Uh, we've been working with our customers as they roll out new fiber services, uh, cable operators as well as uh, telco operators, and how they've been able to leverage their existing fiber investments. The, uh, the survey highlighted that 60% of the operators are looking for an independent vendor who can provide open APIs to help them achieve automation services. Did the survey highlight anything interesting on the residential side? Yeah, so what we saw in the survey is that one third of the operators are extending their residential OSS stack to service the business customers. Mm -hmm. uh, the other 66% are using independent stacks for both of them. And so what this really highlights to us is that there's a great opportunity at converging all of these uh, disparate systems into one unified platform for taking advantage of a lot of the automation that they're, that they're looking at deploying new services. Now what we see is that, that 5G, CBRS, uh, investments into the, the core plant as being a catalyst to, to converge their back office and their operational support systems. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of our customers in uh, Cala region is actually using the launching of MPLS service as an opportunity to take these two orchestration systems and bring them all together to provide a unified experience for their customer care as well as their network operations. Pete, we've been talking a lot about fiber for backhaul, but today at the show we've had a fiber cut yeah. and cut off all the Wi-Fi in the room. What would that mean for 5G and backhaul? Yeah, you know, that's a pretty interesting use case because, you know, as you said, we've always been talking about using uh, fiber as a backhaul uh, technology for 5G. Um, incidentally, at uh, TM Forum, we had participated in a, a Catalyst project uh, aptly named Riders in the Storm, and it was for, <laughs> it was for uh, providing emergency services in the case of natural disasters uh, where uh, fixed line business, whether or not it was you know, DSL, fiber, HFC, had been somehow severed and they were using uh, 5G as the way to reach out to the uh, emergency services. So they were using 5G as a backhaul in that case. Um, we have you know, a couple customers uh, up in Canada that uh, use, this for small medium business uh, customers, but they use a gateway, it's a uh, HFC gateway with LTE backhaul. In the event that their small medium business customer has some connectivity issues on the HFC plant, but they still need to have some sort of emergency connectivity. Thanks for your time.